The Panasonic G9 has one of the best stabilization systems that you can find in any camera. And what's cool about this system is it offers you a lot of different settings to customize it to your given uses. Let's go ahead and show you how you can make these adjustments in both the video settings as well as the photo setting. So what we're going to do is we're going to the camera's menu. Now you see the top tab, that's the photo tab. On page three we have where it says stabilizer. This will be for your photo settings. If we select the movie camera menu on the second tab, now we're on page two, stabilizer will be different for video. In this case, we're going to do our settings from the photo mode, but don't worry, all the video and photo settings are in here as well. So once we've selected stabilizer, we have an option that says operation mode. The top option means the camera's going to stabilize on all five axes of stabilization. But if I'm using it for photography and I'm trying to pan with a subject, sometimes that sensor is moving against my movement and it can be a little troubling to try to track a subject. So we select the bottom option if we're panning for photography and trying to keep up with the subject. Our second option is electronic stabilization and this only affects video shooting. What this is going to do is it's actually going to move the image around on the sensor on top of the sensor actually moving itself and the lens is moving with it as well, giving you an unprecedented level of stability. The bottom option says IS lock for video. Now, this is a great feature for people who don't want to bring a tripod and want the footage to look like the tripod was just locked down and held steady. It's going to really hold that camera steady. The drawback here is if you want to pan with it, it's really going to fight against any camera movement that you put into the camera. Our final menu option in the stabilization menu says focal length set. This will usually be grayed out unless you're using a camera lens that doesn't communicate to the body. All micro four thirds lenses that have autofocus communicate to our bodies and they tell us what the focal length of the lens is. But if you're adapting over a Canon lens or a Nikon lens, it may not be able to communicate that information and we have to know the focal length of the lens in order to be able to stabilize it correctly. So, once we access this setting, you then have three presets. One says 24 millimeters, one says 35, and one says 50. You can go ahead and customize those if you'd like, if there are three focal lengths you use pretty consistently. If the lens is a new lens that you've not preset up, you can then manually adjust it to whatever you want that lens to be. So we'll set a 55 millimeter, and you can even do in tenth increments of millimeter as well. Once you hit set, now it's set for that focal length. Now if you don't want to remember where that is in the menu, but you want to use some adapted lenses, that's fine. Every time you turn the camera off and then turn the camera back on, when you have a lens that's mounted that is not a native micro four thirds lens with autofocus, the camera will automatically ask you, would you like to change the focal length? Simply answer yes and you have access to changing your focal lengths and optimizing it for the IS system. Panasonic.